February has been quite an interesting month to talk about thus far, and nonetheless, the story over the past couple of hours has been getting another system out of our area, seeing all of the cloud coverage still associated with some of that rain we saw overnight, and then notice a little bit of those snow showers to the north of us also picking up, so a lot of this making its way out of here over the next few hours you can see it crossing into Alabama, allowing conditions for us to still remain kind of cloudy and dreary for the rest of the afternoon, seeing that temperature at 38 degrees, but with that west-northwest wind kicking up to about 18 miles per hour right now, actually feeling about 28. So that's very, very chilly and a 10 degree difference in actuality and what it feels like. It's kind of drastic and that's much the case across the southeast region. Seeing those temperatures dipping down, notice this very distinct line of blue coming across north Mississippi and into Alabama. All those temperatures separating from the 40s along the coastline, even in the 50s in Destin, seeing that getting back to the 40s as we get into the northern half of the Twin States and then into Arkansas, seeing all of that fairly, fairly chilly, but not too cold when it comes to the actual temperature. It's the wind chill that actually makes us scared. Look at the 28 in Tunica, 31 in Greenville. Everyone seeing the 20 degree mark across north and northeast Mississippi. Only a little bit warmer to the south, though, in the 30s, and that's pretty much the case. Over the next few hours, though, we're going to see some clearing, but the winds will be sticking around. Seeing that system move out of here, and then by Tuesday, 2 p.m., picking up some nice sunny skies, but the temperature is not going to be nice. Going to be cold still, and then we're going to see this next system start to bring in a lot of rain, possibly some snow with it. Notice this very, very defined line, seeing the snow showers to the north, and then seeing all these snow sh uh, the rain to the south with the possibility of intense storms there. So a lot of things are going to be happening happening for us as we get into the next couple of days. Seeing this storm bring with us some freezing drizzle, some mixture across the south part of the state, even into Alabama, but focusing on Mississippi, really going to see some concentration on snowfall in the delta, seeing a possible accumulation of up to two to four inches. So a lot of things going on, not getting much of a break. These things are just pumping in here one after another, bringing us a lot of snowfall this year. So as we continue to see this progress over the next few hours, seeing Wednesday and Thursday progress into something possible for us, not seeing anything today really. Seeing that temperature get up to 45 degrees, as I mentioned, gusty and very chilly. Chilly. That'll be the case through the evening hours, but with a little bit of clearing. Still seeing that northwest wind kicking a little further out of the north, so it'll bring a little bit of chillier air. 10 miles per hour with that low at 24, very below freezing. So any moisture that is on the ground may be freezing on patches of bridges and such, so make sure you're aware of that if you're traveling later this evening. But, you know, look at the five-day forecast. Can't complain much. We're going to see a lot of things happen into today, seeing Tuesday getting rather sunny, and then that 40% chance, 70% chance, seeing a lot of snow possible on Wednesday and Thursday. But Friday and Saturday clearing out a nice weekend for us here in the Starville area, seeing temperatures get up to 50 degrees on Saturday, but don't get rid of that cold weather yet. Lows still hanging around the 20s. Thanks once again for joining us here at Campus Connect. I am Aaron Warden.